So a few weeks ago, I found myself joining my housemate on the lounge at home in front of the television. And the atrocity that happens to be Celebrity Apprentice was on. Um, the challenge that the contestants were given in this particular episode was to capture through photography the untold story of one of their teammates. Naturally, this got me thinking about my own untold stories. And it's one of these I'd like to begin with this evening. As David mentioned, I grew up in Dubbo. And this is a town in the central west of New South Wales with approximately 40,000 students. Uh, sorry, approximately 40,000 people, and that's a little less than the student population of UNSW. The minute I heard about the advanced science program back at high school, I was absolutely sold. So you can imagine I was ecstatic to be here. I was full of high hopes, I was proud of myself, and I knew absolutely no one on campus. Not many of the people from my school came to Sydney, let alone to university. I was lost and I was lonely. I was in big classes, I was doing quite frankly terribly in my maths and my physics. I'd been doing so well and something wasn't clicking. I'd come here to be an astrophysicist and so you can imagine how down I was feeling. I was so unhappy. I remember being on the phone to my mother one afternoon. She was ready to take me home, find me a job, do something else because it just wasn't working out here. But I am nothing if not proud and stubborn. I was not dropping out of university without giving it another go. My second semester here was completely different. Uh, instead of doing courses that I thought I should do, I did courses that I enjoyed. And that led me to earth sciences. I went from scraping passes in physics and chem and fi uh, maths to a distinction average in the course of, in less than six months. I took on the role of social director at college, a place that I previously had not understood, and suddenly it was an amazing place. I jumped on the bandwagon of societies at university and got myself on the executive of the very newly formed Geosciences Society. I had instant fame, glory, and friends. I cannot tell you how wonderful it is to be able to walk across campus and just be like, hey, hey, it's so much better. I was a different person. And this brings me to some of my pieces of advice for this evening. Firstly, do what makes you happy, not what you think will bring you kudos. If you're being told, oh, you should do law, but you're like, but I really, really want to be a zoologist, just do it. Upon graduation, a person who is passionate about their niche is attractive, not only to employers, but to the cute person at the bar. If you realise what you're doing isn't making you happy, UNSW has implemented a whole bunch of measures to make switching your path around easy. And I have done that myself. I started off intending to do one major and swapped to something completely different. Secondly, and I find this the most important, get involved. Whether that's in the student theatre, the Chocolate Appreciation Society, SciSoc, or your school society, just get in on it. Make friends in your classes, and really importantly, volunteer to answer questions in lectures and tutorial. Sounds scary, but the rewards are great. For example, in one of my classes, I got on good terms with my lecturers because I was always like, asking questions and answering his. And I ended up doing really well because I felt comfortable asking for help at the end of class. This led to being asked to join him and a few other students on extracurricular field work. This is how I ended up standing in a swamp once a month uh, instead of sitting in this really boring lecture on Tuesday mornings. This in turn led to an offer to go to um, and go out and run a soil survey as part of an archaeological expedition. At the end of my second year, I was in charge of my own autonomous, multidisciplinary project in Bulgaria. So cool. We had a scholarship which paid for our flights. And when I asked David Cohen if he could help my team out with a little extra funding from the school, he was more than happy to oblige because he knew who we were. He knew that I was an engaged and enthusiastic student. So after a month running around rose farms, collecting soil samples, and yes, learning a little Bulgarian, I worked with my team to write a paper which is now published, like it's going to be published. And all of this ended up as counting for coursework. So 
there's so many amazing opportunities that we can have here. And this is where I also made my film debut. Um, it's a little bit embarrassing, but when you go home tonight, search on Google for UNSW TRAP. TRAP being the Tunza Regional Archaeology Project, TRAP. Um, and you'll find the documentary produced by UNSW TV. It's an amazing piece of work, and I think all the archaeologists do a good job, and the geologists are running around and just going rowing and having a fun time. It's good fun. So, uh, as was mentioned, I've also had the opportunity to do mineralogy research whilst here, and I'm just finishing the paper which I'm going to be pre presenting at a conference uh, next weekend. As part of this, I've had the opportunity to learn from experts from other universities, as well as be able to learn how to do analyses that in class we only got to read about. Similarly, my honours research project that I'm working on this year saw me head overseas again, just to New Zealand this time, only a short hop, uh, to study tsunami st uh, deposits in the soil. So while some of my peers in honours are still figuring out how to do research, I'm breezing through and instead making the most of networking opportunities and doing the things that are actually tricky. So looking at where I am now, you would never guess that I hated it here a few years ago. I absolutely love UNSW. I love my degree. I love what I do. I've learned so much about how to learn and how to live. I could only do that by going out of my way as much as I did. And that is something I really want to ensure that all of you, there are opportunities, but you have to work to get them. University study is really different from high school. The onus is on you to learn, and it's very tempting and very easy to procrastinate and just cruise on through. But I don't want you to be like me in first semester, unhappy, trying to take the easy route. No, do things the hard way, and you will come out with so much more than just a certificate. Thank you.